Hey guys, in this video I'm going to talk about the anchor point element. So I'm going to just search for it and I'm going to add it. Now this element is, uh, how should I say, uh, its uh, only purpose is to provide a block which has an ID attribute assign it to it now in case you're wondering why would I need uh, an ID uh, such an element with an ID well for example you might have a I don't know a, a long page and you simply want to link your content with um, with a, a hash link so for example let me just show you I will duplicate this uh, so no, I will try something else. Section. As you can see, I'm heavily using the section because it's a very important uh, uh, element. I'm going to make it huge, and I'm going to drag this section at the bottom. Now, let me just copy that. Uh, no, no options here, just this uh, uh, field and I'm going to publish this page let me just hit the view page and as you can see nothing here this text only appears when in uh, page builder edit mode uh, which is true so back to the uh, preview so you want to link to that uh, zone into your website. I will just add the hash and the ID. As you can see, it went to the bottom where this uh, element uh, exists. Now, let me let me do it even better. One second. I will try to make it even better for you to understand in case you didn't uh, as you can see I cloned uh, this uh, section uh, this is so I can uh, have a uh, distance uh, from the top hope you understand that and I'm just going to add this whoa did I add it there? I think it's yeah this is the one <laughs> sorry about that and let me edit this is the anchor point okay I'm gonna publish and again I'm going to cut this as you can see this is the anchor point when I'm going to add this uh, custom ID it will take me right there now we have a problem here because uh, uh, we have this um, this bar which uh, which is uh, the WordPress bar and uh, uh, this won't affect things into the um, into the front end a real problem would be this one but for this one to like I said if you just hit it again the text is right behind this bar now even though uh, for example if I just open an incognito window so I I'm not logged in you can see the text behind this now there's a very very easy workaround for this just go to the title element and just added the a padding at the top and there you go if I refresh it it will appear normally like uh, uh, with a padding so it won't be behind the, these uh, bars so that's about it this is the a special anchor point uh, element it's cool uh, we plan to add um, uh, functionality that uh, links like a one page 
if I click this for example a link in the menu uh, the page will scroll smoothly with an easing to this point this is a feature we're uh, actually having uh, we're having it planned for the next uh, versions so stay tuned great so thanks for watching and see you in the next uh, in the next one bye